Now, on Wednesday, McDonald's are launching a new no-added-sugar juice drink for kids, mm. but they're already under fire for the amount of sugar that it naturally contains. It shows just how tough it is to make sure that your family is just sweet enough, and our One Show family is no exception. You may remember our One Show family, the Hankinsons from Berry. In the past, we really put them through their paces, challenging them to live on just 50 pounds a week. George, how long has it felt like? <laughs> Reducing their salt intake down to the recommended amounts. You're cleaning that up, you know. And now, our family have bravely agreed to adjust their diets again, this time reducing their sugar intake. <laughs> Not you again. Could this be their toughest challenge yet? Sugar actually has no nutritional content, so it's just empty calories in our diet. There's a big link between a high sugar content diet and diabetes, obesity, real problems immediately with dental decay, and it can even exacerbate conditions that you have, such as peptic ulcers and even lower your immune system. Have you thought about the sugar before? Yeah, but because they have a healthy diet, I think sometimes it's quite nice to have chocolate and, and we do like biscuits. We analysed their weekly shopping bill and found some startling results. I'm going to show you how much sugar you guys have in your diet. Every week, one, two of those. Roughly twice what you should be having. I just don't see where it comes from. So the Hankinsons are eating their way through roughly twice the recommended amount of sugar a week. So the challenge now is to get that down to the guidelines. While looking at the Hankinson shopping list, we found sugar in some unlikely places. For example, did you know adding a dollop of ketchup to your chips is the same as four grams of sugar? And quenching your thirst with a high juice cordial in fact counts as six teaspoons of sugar. So it doesn't always come from the obvious places but helps at hand in the form of dietitian Nicole Berberian, who's going to help Tracy reduce her family's sugar intake. First up, understanding the labelling system. They're really confusing. First of all, there's a label that says per 100 grams. For food to be low in sugar, it needs to be under 5 grams per 100 grams. If it's over 15, it's high. This one works out at 36 grams per 100, so that is well above the high range. The government recommends that a maximum of 19% of your calories come from all sugars. And this can quickly mount up when there are two and a half teaspoons in a basic pasta sauce and four teaspoons in a lasagna ready meal. Another misconception is fruit juices. Now, although they contain natural occurring sugars, even they count towards your total sugar consumption. So even if it says no added sugar, you still need to read those labels. Are you surprised that I'm bringing you here? Um, yeah, I know it does have sugar in it, but it's something that I do like the children to have as part of the, you know, one of the five a day. One small glass counts as your five a day. Anything over that, it gets dumped into the extra sugar category. And on top of that, not all juice might be just juice. In general, when you see all the added things, I'd start to be suspicious. So, armed with a set of low sugar recipes and swapping their after school biscuits and chocolates with low sugar yogurts, the family are ready to start their challenge. Right, OK, boys, do you want to try your pudding and see what you think? It's the worst pudding ever. It's the worst pudding ever. You've never even tried it yet. Here we have Georgie's packed lunch for the day with his sandwich, his apple, his water instead of his juice, and then his chocolate orange muffin, which is low sugar. He's been coming home every day and he's eating it all. Sugar in the morning, sugar in the evening. So, time to find out how cutting their sugar intake by half has gone. Was it tougher than you expected? I thought it was going to be really tough and, and I wasn't looking forward to it with the children and stuff, but it was just that planning and having and, and changing what we, we ate. It's just simple things like instead of giving them a, a chocolate biscuit when they come home from school, make a sandwich. Instead of giving them juice, give them milk. Just little things like that. And to congratulate them on completing their task, I have one last treat. Oh, yeah. This is a taste test. Choose one from each, and then I want you to tell me which one's got the high sugar in and which one's got the low sugar in. Which plate do you think was the high sugar plate? That one? I agree. Good this one? Yeah. You're all wrong. That's the low sugar plate. 
After all of this week, family, are we expecting a low sugar diet to continue in the Hankinson house? Not this week, man. Maybe lower. 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 Yeah, lower. Lower. Well, you know what? I really thought they were going to struggle with that this week. But maybe cutting down the amount of sugar in our diet is one of those things we think is going to be harder than it really is. Maybe that's a lesson for all of us. Maybe it is. Well done yeah. to the Hankinsons. They did well, didn't they? And thanks yeah. to Simon yeah. as well.